Welcome everybody to the Tennessee Titans franchise. Today, season five gets underway. After two years of rebuilding this team to hopefully be a playoff contender, our season opens in Cincinnati against Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. It's time to put this roster to the test. We've drafted some outstanding players the last couple years. We spent this past offseason fortifying the offensive line, hoping to put enough around Brian Nava. He enters his second season after leading the NFL in interceptions and being sacked 67 times. We have veterans to help protect him and perhaps the best young playmaker in the game as his number one receiver. Trayvon Randolph was unbelievable last year and with a better offensive line, that'll increase the opportunities for him, Debbie and Bynes and other playmakers. Meanwhile on defense, we were not content with our progress late last year. We brought in Daxton Hill, a playmaking safety who adds serious versatility to the defense. And we bring back one of the best edge rushers from last year, Rashawn Gary, who had a career season. This defense is full of playmakers. I feel like we've just scratched the surface of what this team is capable of going back to last year. Now you add Daxton Hill, you bring in Jamel Dean to shore up the secondary. Grady Jarrett and John Franklin Myers will help us replace Jeffrey Simmons. And this defense will face a very high-powered Cincinnati offense. This team missed the playoffs last year and they're hungry for a return. They got Joe Burrow at quarterback, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. This is a dangerous offense and a huge test for this secondary that comes in with very high expectations. Like us, Cincinnati made an effort to improve their offensive line in the offseason, signing Mekhi Becton and David Andrews. And if you remember back to the offseason, them signing David Andrews led to us trading for Frank Ragnow. Our team has a lot to prove this year. I feel like we've brought in the right talent. We're no longer counting on rookies to carry this team, and we'll find out if this team is ready. Welcome to year five in the Titans franchise. Rashad Polite will take it out of the end zone. Across the 20 and brought down at the 23. As Brian Nava, as a second year quarterback, will take the field. Derrick Henry is still here, but this is now a pass first offense and you'll see a lot more changes in personnel and the way this team tries to attack. Rashad Polite starts the year at running back. First and 10, he will carry and is met quickly and doesn't go far. As corner Marcus Peters is shaken up. That's already a very thin position for them and now their top corner goes down. Devian binds the slot right. Rookie of the year, Trayvon Randolph on the left. Nava gets hit and the pass is tipped away from Trayvon Randolph incomplete. That could have been trouble. And it sets up third down. Nava to the air. He hooks up with Sal Sexton. And it's enough for a first down. Sal in his third season here in Tennessee. And now at the 47, it's the first carry of the year for Derrick Henry. Strong start, gain of 14. He will still play a lot, but expect to see Manny Warner and especially Rashad Polite. First and 10, Nava is sacked. It's a loss of 11. Pressure gets through off the play fake and now Tennessee going in the wrong direction. They respond by going empty. Good protection and open passes incomplete for Sal Sexton. And Tennessee is already going to use the challenge. They say Sal got his feet down. The left is in. The right, however, that is not in. Tennessee loses a first half timeout and it's third and 21. Six protecting, Nava floating for Sexton. He's there, but can't get his feet down there either. Tennessee fails on their opening drive and now we'll see what they bring to the table defensively. No Jeffrey Simmons, but John Franklin Myers and Grady Jarrett look good in preseason. First and 10 in the backfield and down goes Joe Mixon. And there is John Franklin Myers on the opening snap. 
making an impact. Following the loss of four, Joe Burrow's first throw is complete to Austin Hooper, and it's good for a gain of eight. Would love to see this defense open with a three and out. Burrow needs six, and he's got a connection. First down, that's T. Higgins. We'll have our hands full with these great Cincinnati receivers. Burrow on second down. This one's a little off the mark for Higgins. And again, third down. Bengals go trips to the right. Burrow protected. He now feels pressure and floats it out of bounds in the direction of Higgins. And Cincinnati brings on their punt team. Rashad Polite is not back deep for Tennessee. This is the rookie, Christian Parker. Switched his number after making the 53. And the undrafted receiver out of South Florida takes us to the 20. And we'll try this again. Ryan Nava under center. Two receivers to the right, including rookie Raekwon Stark. Here's Nava. Incomplete for Sal Sexton. He's getting all the targets, but three in a row have been incomplete. Third down this time, six protecting. Nava on the move. He finds Devi and Bynes at midfield. Not sure that's how they planned it to go, but we're going to take it anyway. Now at the 49, again out of the shotgun, Nava floats it across the middle, finding Rashad Polite. And we'll see just how much his role expands this year. But third and one, that's Derrick Henry time, and he gets the first down. Henry's third carry, he gets up to the 36-yard line. Again, they go offset eye. Now a counter for Henry. Blocked well. Runs over a defensive back. Even at 32 years old, I still think he can run for 1,000 this year. Third and short. Now they head to the air. Pass is caught. First of the year for Trayvon Randolph, who had 99 as a rookie. Handoff now, Rashad Polite, and he goes down after a gain of three. And he'll stay in the game for third and short. Blitz coming, Nava throwing, and he's intercepted! It's Brian Asamoa, and the Bengals get the red zone turnover. First of the year for Nava. It looked like they were bringing the house, but Asamoa stayed right in the middle, ready to cover that quick crossing pattern. Bengals take over. Here's Mixon, and not much there. He is stopped by Desmond Spencer. After a gain of three, Burrow gets it away in time. Caught by Mixon, very close to a first down. It'll be third and maybe an inch. And the Bengals will throw, and it's incomplete! Looked like Hooper and Higgins collided there, and Tennessee's going to take over. First and 10, good field position. Nice adjustment by the rookie. It's caught by Raekwon Stark. First down. Stark is going to be used as a deep threat primarily. Blitz coming, first down, and caught by Sal Sexton. Gain of eight. An injured Bengal. This is already a defense that doesn't have much depth. But Nova sacked on first down. They got to him again. Timing up their blitz against the play action. Second and 18 for Nava. He floats and it's caught. Inside the 10, Devian Bynes. Goal to go, Tennessee. But they got to protect the football this time. Second and goal. Nava hit and the ball's out. And recovered by Tennessee. Ryan Nava has now been sacked three times here in the first half. They go empty from 17 yards away. And it's a screen that's covered perfectly by the Bengals. Emmanuel Abbott, loss of four. That's disappointing to have two red zone sequences already, but only three points. Pass caught, first of the year, Jamar Chase. Across the 40-yard line, there's 19. Cincinnati, 926 to play in the first half. And Mixon runs inside, room to run. And he'll gain eight. Everybody in tight for Cincinnati. Handoff Mixon. And he's got enough for a first down. Now they bring down the safeties. Shifting late. Third and four Cincinnati. Burrow wide open. Cut by Jamar Chase. 
And an injury for Cincinnati. That is Makai Becton who's going to leave the field. Receivers in tight on second down. Burrow, quick, caught. Tyler Boyd, still a very good slot receiver, and he'll be matched up with new slot defender Jamel Dean. First down, chase on the catch around the five. Now they're starting to spread the ball around a bit more. Five yards out, Mixon carries, and does not get the first down. It was Connor Knox on the stop. Third and maybe an inch for the Bengals. Again, they look to throw, and the ball is away for the touchdown. The Bengals' first touchdown this year. It doesn't go to Jamar Chase. It doesn't go to T. Higgins. It's Roberto Reyes, the second tight end. And Cincinnati has grabbed the lead 7-3. You got these two high-powered offenses. I think we expected some more first-half points. Nava launches one, Randolph leaps and can't bring it down. They've thrown two downfield his way. Now a handoff on second down and that worked nicely. Staying on his feet through the first hit is Rashad Polite, he gets 10. And Polite's already seeing a lot of these snaps. But Nava pulls it back and don't forget he can run. He'll gain nine. Expect to see some RPOs, maybe a little bit more quarterback movement. Third down now for Nava. That's caught by Randall. First down. And we're inside two minutes here in the first half. Polite carries again, weaves his way through the middle, and gains nine. And that's six first half carries. This is a serious roll he's got. New set of downs. Dropped off for Polite, has room to run, and scampers out of bounds after a gain of 13. I feel like the adjustments we're making this year is going to benefit him as much as anybody. First and 10 from 26 yards away. Nava across the middle for Bynes. There's seven. I feel like the team is starting to get some comfort offensively. Second down, lobbed up top, caught by Randolph. Touchdown. Number one for the rookie of the year. Titans back in front. It's got to be helpless. Watching defenders try to stop him one-on-one. -on -one. Randolph had seven touchdowns last year. 1,500 yards, 99 receptions. Looking to get off to a fast start here in his sophomore campaign. We've left the Bengals with 33 seconds. They're at their own 33. Here's Burrow. Wide open is Tyler Boyd. And that's good for 13 as the Bengals will call their second timeout. Down to 26 seconds. Going deep and Chase is there. Inside the 20. And they will call their final timeout and bring out the kick team. They will not take any chances here. It's McPherson and the kick is blocked. And Tennessee is going to pick it up. It's John Franklin Myers across midfield. I'm not sure anybody's going to catch him. Inside the 10. In for the touchdown. What a swing before halftime. Just when it looks like it was going to be tied up. Sixth round rookie Dennis Murphy out of Notre Dame blocks the kick. And we have gone to a 10 point game at the half completely changing the complexion of this game. Let's take a quick minute to talk about games around the league. Colts at the Texans. It's all Indy right now, 21-0. And remember back to last year and the Jaguars losing 10 consecutive games to close the year? They're going to lose 11 straight now. 28-0, all Philly here in the first half. There's a little added pressure now on Cincinnati, trailing by 10 instead of being tied at 10. Second half underway, and Mixon is taken down by Terrell Riddick. We've done a good job in run defense so far. To the air on second down. Under pressure, and Burrow gets it away just in time. John Franklin Myers making a good impact. Third down now. Blitz is sent. Right pass knocks. It's cut by Higgins. That's where I want to see him take another step this year. He got much better against the run, but he's got to get better stopping the pass. And here's one caught by Mixon. 
around the 30 of Tennessee. Bengals trying to get off to a hot start. They go chasing the slot now. He makes the catch. Nearly knocked away by Christian Fulton. But those two have a very special connection. 21 yards away now. Burrow has Chase open. He's got the touchdown. They are moving him all over the place, and he's running all kinds of routes. Here he's got Farley's back turn, breaks the other way off the corner route, and it's 17-14 here in the third. Tennessee football, and the running back is Manny Warner. But heading to the air, pass caught, Devian Bynes. And Brian Nava is a very solid 15 of 21. Three receivers in the game, and Warner running to the right. He gets around three. Polite replaces Warner on third and seven. Three receivers in the game. Time to throw, and it's dumped off to Polite. And he is slammed down after a short gain. The Bengals open the second half with a score and a stop. As Jamar Chase retakes the field, already 105 and a touchdown. Nice grab by Hooper. Again, they pick on Connor Knox. He's just a half step slow on some of these plays. Maybe it'll get better with more experience. Second down for Burrow. Here's Hooper again. Now he shoves away Knox. He's got to do a lot better job in pass coverage. First and 10 for Cincinnati. On target for Boyd. And Joe Burrow is definitely in the zone now. That accuracy is unbelievable. Loading the box on first down. Burrow floating. Back of the end zone. Knocked away from Higgins. I want to see this defense be elite down near the red zone. Here's Mixon cutting it off. Tackle. Nice run. 11 yards. That's his longest so far. They're going empty. Spreading the defense out. Third and six for Burrow. Feels pressure. Knocked away by Farley in the back of the end zone. So while Cincinnati moves the football down the field, all they can do is tie things up now at 17. But Cincinnati's off to an outstanding start here in the third quarter. Can Tennessee answer? Warner the carry, right up the guts. Gets the first down, 12 yards. Now they have Randolph inside, two receivers in the game. A fake and time to throw as Nava throws off the mark for Bynes. Play action game really hasn't been there today. Nice job picking up the pressure and Bynes makes the catch. Good for a first down. You'll see Devy and Bynes play a lot more in the slot this year. I think he'll do extremely well in that role. Now Warner with a good run as he gets seven. This helps give Derrick Henry a rest. Second down, Randolph across the field and still not brought down until he reaches the 35. They go empty with Randolph now in the right slot. Nava's got time, looking deep, Randolph got it! Touchdown! He's got his second, putting Tennessee back in front. You've got to be careful if number 84 is going deep. We got to see just how dominant he can be as a rookie. What does he have in store here in his second season? 24-17. Tennessee back in front, and Cincinnati's got a minute 26 here in the third. Off the fake. Wide open is Higgins. First down. Higgins and Chase have certainly gotten the better of Fulton and Farley today. Mixon carries and runs it up the middle. And it seems like they're starting to find a little more space there. Box stacked, third and one. Mixon, met, gets away from one. Still brought down, shy of the marker, by Grady Jarrett. And that's going to bring us into the fourth quarter. Cincinnati will go for it. Box is stacked again. Fourth down. Mixon doesn't get it. Connor Knox made the play. Tennessee takes over on downs. And they have a short field. Derrick Henry back in the game all the way out. And he gets seven. Just seven carries to this point for Derrick Henry. 
but he gets another one. Now to the other side. Henry lowers the shoulder on Jamal Adams and runs it down to the 28. Now they're getting the boost from their running game. On first down, a fake for Nava. Downfield has Randolph. He's got it again. Touchdown. That's number three. Trayvon Randolph's first career three touchdown game has put the Titans up two scores in the fourth quarter. And they finally get that play action pass to work. We're starting to see what is possible with this offense. And now with a 14 point game, can the defense protect Joe Burrow? That's open and Hooper makes the catch. This game is far from over. Joe Burrow over 300 yards passing into Tennessee territory in a hurry. He's going deep. Downfield. Chase got it. Touchdown. Bengals answer. Randolph with three. Chase with two. And we're back to a one-score game. They have protected Joe Burrow so well. He has not been sacked in this game. And even with two defenders near him, Jamar Chase finds a way. Will Randolph have a chance to answer? We still got 10.27 to go. Nava to the air. And he hooks up with undrafted rookie Christian Parker. His first catch goes for six. Three receivers, third down. Nava launches outside and it's knocked away by Jamal Adams. A three and out force by the Bengal defense. Cincinnati gets it back quickly. Nine minutes to go. Here is Mixon. Good running across the 45. 57 yards now. Cincinnati finding a bit more balance here late. On second down, just getting the pass off. It's caught by Boyd for a round five. They're looking to press the receivers now on third down. And it's a screen for Mixon. Franklin Myers is there and makes the play. It's only a gain of one, and Cincinnati is choosing to punt on fourth and four. And they'll trust their defense after a bad punt that goes out of bounds at the 23. But here comes the Tennessee offense again, trying to protect a seven-point lead. Over six minutes left to go as Nava heads to the air. To the outside, nice catch, and it's Stark. Gain of eight. They keep rotating in new receivers there. And now on third down, Henry's got it. Adams delivered the big hit, but it was too late. Five minutes on the clock. A fake to Henry on first down. And the pass too far in front for Sexton. Finds his slot left on second and ten. To the outside now, Nava finds Henry. Nice grab. That makes it third and five. Tennessee goes trips left with Sexton and Polite to the right side. Four-man rush. Time to throw. Caught Sterling Shepard. First down. As Nava goes over 300 yards passing. Shepard, the veteran, still in the game. Here's Polite now. Cutting off the center rag now. Four-yard pickup. Starting to run this clock a bit more. 3.38 to go. Nava. Deep again, Randolph leaps and comes down with it around the one-yard line. He almost scored again. This guy is unstoppable. But now they're only a half yard out. It's Henry, and he's in. Touchdown. Tennessee back up by two scores with time running out on Cincinnati. What a game. We wanted to see something new out of the offense this year, and I think we've gotten that in this one. Here's a little trickery from the Bengals as Boyd did not go far on the flip. They go empty now as we go inside three minutes. Burrow got it to Higgins. Really tight coverage from Dean, but he just hasn't been able to knock one of these away. That's caught by Boyd now on top of the Bengal logo. And we have hit the two-minute warning. Two backs in the game on second down. That's caught with Knox again, maybe a half step away from making a nice play there. But down to a minute 40. A fake for Burrow. That's caught, but 
Not in bounds by T. Higgins. We're down to around a minute 30 left to go. Burrow underneath and nearly intercepted by Jamel Dean. Let it go through his hands. Third and 10. This one's lobbed up top and Higgins can't come down with it. It brings up fourth down. They've got to find a conversion here. Leaping is Jamar Chase. He makes the catch first down Bengals. A minute 10 left to go. That's quick for Higgins, but time running out with every play, and they're trying to save those timeouts. They know they'll need them. Burrow up top again this time. It is deflected. Well covered. Third and four, Cincinnati. Burrow to the sideline. Caught. Austin Hooper. 425 yards now for Burrow. Heading to the air, leaping, caught, touchdown, Tyler Boyd. The Bengals get the points without using a single timeout. We have a one-score game, and the Bengals now hope for one final chance for Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and this offense. Onside kick attempt now for Evan McPherson. And it's picked up by Tennessee. That is Devy and Bynes. And now with 42 seconds to go, a first down ends the game. Three tight ends in for the first time. Hand off Derrick Henry. Following his tight ends. Nice job by Dominic Brooks. It's a gain of eight. Two plays to get two yards. Two tight ends now for Tennessee. Henry gets the carry, gets the first down, and Tennessee will win their first week one game of the entire franchise. What a win in Cincinnati, 38 to 31. One of the most satisfying wins I think we've had in the entire series. What a showing for the offense who started a bit slow, but once they got going, they look like an offense that's going to be a real force here in the AFC. Three touchdowns for Brian Nava. Every one of them went to Trayvon Randolph. This was one of the best games in his 16-game career. He and Jamar Chase going back and forth in this one was quite a spectacle, I think. And Randolph, I think, is going to be in for an absolutely special season if all goes to plan and he stays healthy but I felt like we were able to use Rashad Polite and all the other playmakers well today like this is what the offense is supposed to look like early on we were you know trying to figure some things out they got some sacks you know two of those sacks were on play action the other one was just a regular one but after like 11 minutes were on the clock in the second quarter no sacks on Nava, so I will call that a big success. Our offensive line does feel like it's massively improved. Cincinnati's line played really well at the same time. We didn't get any sacks on Joe Burrow. And Connor Knox did not succeed in his breakout opportunity, so it ends there. As we simulate to week two, we see that Larry Galloway, the kicker, has been picked up off of our practice squad. And Joe Burrow was named AFC Offensive Player of the Week, although in a losing effort. Desmond Ritter also had four touchdowns in his Raiders debut, and only two quarterbacks had multiple interceptions thrown. The best running back in Week 1 was Jonathan Taylor against the Texans' defense, and Trayvon Randolph was right up there with Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and Debo Samuel in Week 1. Darren Waller also had three touchdown catches. We are going to face Miami next week after their disappointing showing in week one. I'm not sure we're going to know exactly who this defense is for a little bit, facing a high-powered offense in Cincinnati and doing it all over again against Miami. But I like to see us come up with a few more plays. You know, sacks and turnovers, I think, are the name of the game in today's uh, NFL defensively. And meanwhile, I just want to see us protect the football and use all the playmakers that we have. Trayvon Randolph, plus two short and medium route running. Watch out. Three touchdowns, but how many more is he going to pick up? Chicago upset Miami in week one, 20-17, as Shelton Cunningham 
didn't throw a touchdown and threw under 250 yards. So I know, again, our secondary is going to be tested by Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill, and of course, Devontae Smith. Now, Shelton Cunningham is one of the best young quarterbacks in our franchise. You could say he had somewhat of a sophomore slump last season. Yards were down, touchdowns were down, interceptions up, completion percentage down. And we'll see what Miami's able to do this season. I wanted to check on some of the biggest injuries as well around the league. Dalvin Cook is out 11 weeks with a foot injury. Jordan Mailata out for the regular season with a torn rotator cuff. And in Atlanta, they are going to miss Drake London until very late in the season. And I've always had my eye on the Falcons in this series because they were one of the first teams to break out. Now they're going to be counting on some other receivers such as Julian Crawford and it helps explain why they traded away or traded for Jalen McMahon from the Dolphins. He was their fifth receiver and now he's finally getting some playing time. They should have traded for A.J. Bingham. Pat Schillinger is their rookie quarterback out of Temple as he replaces Desmond Ritter. He helped Atlanta cruise to an easy win in week one, 28-13 over Carolina. You got to remember, though, they have Kyle Pitts. This team is still probably going to be dangerous. Pitts went over 100 yards in week one. And that's going to end this episode, everybody. Let me know, what did you think of that? Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we can keep up our success offensively. You guys deserve it being this patient, and I, I like what we've built here. But that's only one game, a whole lot of football left to go. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.